Every single day, over 3,000 pre-born humans are killed, like you're seeing on the screen. Over 3,000 humans who die who are just like you and me. They're human beings, they're just younger. We're not saying the foster care system is perfect. We're not saying the adoption system is perfect. But what we are saying is that the solution is not to dismember and decapitate innocent children. That does not help anyone. It only ends in further trauma, further destruction of human life. The baby will be hated because how are you going to love your child if you always know that that's how you had your baby? Your first child was born from a rape or incest. You can't love your baby the same way you would if you were consented to making that child. Okay, so the, the, the position is women who perhaps conceive out of, out of rape, incest, or just situations they don't want, they may not love that baby. So what do we do with the unlovable? That's the question. Do we kill them? Preborn babies are not the only ones who are loved in America. There are foster children who are languishing in un unlovable situations. There are homeless people that no one loves. Should we kill the unlovable? Is there a better answer? That's all we're saying today, is this is never the answer. This baby may not have been loved. Does that mean we should tear her apart? There are 13-year-old girls who don't love themselves who look in the mirror every day and say, I hate myself. See, no one likes me. Should we kill them? Or is there a better way? Should we say whether you're loved or not loved, you are a human being, and therefore you have inherent rights? You're doing a really good job. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, we need people like you.